Hello, my friends. It is so good to have you back with us for the Morning Mindset. Carrie Green here. I am excited that we get to dive into the scriptures together today. I really mean that. It's an exciting thing to hear God's wisdom and to understand how it applies to our lives and how we can apply it in practical ways. Today, we're going to be looking at Proverbs chapter 8, verses 12 through 16. And the author, Solomon, has been personifying wisdom as a woman who is calling out to us. Now, I just love, first of all, that he personifies wisdom as a woman. Because one of the wisest people in my life is my wife, a woman. And I think women have this sense of wisdom about them typically that that men don't always come by naturally. And I'm not disparaging men at all. I just think there's a quality in women of wisdom that that is great. And I love that Solomon has portrayed wisdom that way. Now, all that's just my opinion. That's not the scripture. Let's get into what the Word of God says. As wisdom is speaking, she says, I, wisdom, dwell with prudence. And I find knowledge and discretion. So stop for a moment. It's like wisdom is married to prudence. You know what prudence is. It's like discernment about things and seeing the the deeper meaning and deeper uh, ramifications of things. And it says, I find knowledge and discretion. So wisdom is seeking out knowledge and discretion. That is its main goal in its life, if you want to call wisdom having a life. And in this personification, wisdom says, The fear of the Lord is hatred of evil. Pride and arrogance in the way of evil and perverted speech, I hate. So in other words, wisdom is saying, I fear the Lord because I too hate evil. I hate pride. I hate arrogance. I hate evil and perverted speech. So in other words, wisdom is all about truth and humility and service to others rather than self-centeredness. You see, wisdom is the way of of being a creature before the Creator, knowing who we really are, knowing our position in the universe. You see, you hear people saying a lot, you, you know, how great we are and how significant we are and how wonderful we are as human beings. And my friends, those things are true in the sense that we are created by God and we're created in His image. There's great value in those things. But none of that is of us. We don't get any credit for that. We are created beings. And as such, we don't call the shots. We are subject to the creator. We are the ones who follow his lead and who are in a a, a system, a world system that he designed and operates according to his will. And so doesn't it make sense that we align ourselves with that place in the created order and that we learn humility rather than being proud and arrogant, and that we do what he desires for us to do and live in ways he desires for us to live, not with perverted speech, not in ways of evil. Wisdom goes on here in verse 14 and says, I have counsel and sound wisdom. I have insight. I have strength. By me, kings reign and rulers decree what is just. By me, princes rule and nobles, all who govern justly. So wisdom is telling us when you see a world ruler who is respectable and who's doing a good job and who is actually governing in a wise way, that person has wisdom and wisdom is behind that leadership. You see, good leadership is wise leadership. It's not the most savvy positions of the day. It doesn't have anything to do with political correctness or wokeness or or certain social issues. Leadership has to do with wisdom. Good leaders are wise leaders who fear the Lord and pursue truth in a humble sort of a way. And my friends, the whole point of this is that we are able to tap into wisdom. We are able to be like the wise and just rulers of the world by having wisdom guide us in our lives. Now, that may not seem as grand a thing as being a leader of a country or a nation. But my friends, if we are able to lead ourselves well and live lives based on wisdom, think of the ripple effect that has down through our, the generations of our family, along the line of, of our co-workers, to our bosses, to our employers, to the people we rub shoulders with every day. Wisdom has its effect and it's available 
for us. Jesus, teach us wisdom. Give us the ability to receive what wisdom says to us and to be humble creatures before you, the Creator. Enable us to live rightly, to live justly, to live in the fear of you, that our lives will be full of wisdom and therefore justice will come out of them and right truth and, and beauty and goodness will come out of us. Lord, enable us to reflect you to the dying world around us in wisdom. We ask it in Jesus' name.